Welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to explain how you can stake your tokens using the Polkadot staking dashboard. Before starting using the dashboard, it's important that you have an account. If you don't know how to create an account, or restore it, or everything related to Polkadot accounts, see the link in the description below to another video. Before diving into today's tutorial, if you find these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below, as this will help other people to find our content. And if there is something that we didn't cover yet and you are interested in, drop us a message. Here we are on the Polkadot staking dashboard. We are currently connected to an RPC node on the Kusama network. To start using the dashboard, go on the top right corner, click on connect. You will have some uh, account options here that are currently listed in the Polkadot uh, browser extension. In this case, uh, we use the KSM stash. Now we can see the KSM stash is connected. To start nominating, we are already on the nominate menu here. Go on start nominating. You will have to select an account. In this case, uh, we select KSM controller dash. Click on continue. The reward destination, we will set uh, to controller in this case. Click on continue. Nominate, we use an optimal selection, which uh, goes and looks at validator that, that are active and uh, inactive. For example, here we have uh, the result of this selection. We can click on regenerate and they will automatically resample different uh, validators. Then uh, click on continue. Here we have to select the amount of KSM tokens that we would like to bond. The bond amount must be at least 0.1 KSM. After selecting the amount uh, of KSM tokens, we click on continue. Here we have a summary of uh, what we just did. The controller account that we are using, the reward destination is the controller, the amount of validators that we selected are 16, and uh, the bond amount, 0.1 KSM, and an estimated transaction fees about uh, how much this uh, operation cost to get them on uh, a block on the chain. In here, we, we are okay, so we start nominating. The browser extension will display some details about uh, what we are doing. If everything here looks fine, we can uh, type the password to sign this transaction. After putting the password of uh, the Stash account in this case, we click on sign the transaction. We can see transaction was initiated and now transaction, transaction in block and we can see we have uh, the stash account, the controller and we just start nominating. And this is everything about nominating using the Polkadot uh, staking dashboard. If you don't have enough funds to receive rewards, we recommend to join a pool and you can see the link in the description below to understand how to do it. Also, if you need more information about uh, what it is displayed on the dashboard, See the walkthrough video tutorial in the description below that will guide you through the dashboard and will uh, explain to you what uh, different concepts are. Thanks for watching and uh, I see you in another video.